let me talk to him. Let me talk to him. Let it rain. Let me talk to him. Come on. Annabelle Creation Movie Warnings and The Real Doll The Conjuring and The Conjuring 2 terrified audiences, as did the movie Annabelle, which focuses on a demonic doll. Now, Annabelle, Creation has been released and fans are warning via social media that the movie is terrifying and that the movie should be watched all the way through, to the last moment of the end credits. The tale of Annabelle is based on a true story, with an actual doll that is really a large Raggedy Ann doll. But, even though the doll looks harmless, Lorraine Warren warns Sousa today. Looks are deceiving. It's not what the doll looks like that makes it scary. It is what has been infused within the doll, evil. So, what is the real story of Annabelle? Lorraine Warren told USA Today that Annabelle's reign of terror began in 1970 after being purchased in a hobby shop by a woman who bought a doll for her daughter, a nursing student named Donna. Soon, the doll was reported to be levitating and attacking people. Investigating duo Lorraine and Ed Warren were called to investigate the doll and they felt that it was an inhuman demonic spirit. And so, Ed Warren drove Annabelle to the couple's museum, the Warren Occult Museum for safekeeping. But, Warren says the doll willed for the steering and brakes on the car to fail, resulting in Warren dousing the doll with holy water. Ed Warren died in 2006. The real Annabelle doll is still held at the Warren's Occult Museum in Connecticut. And, just this year, the actual doll was moved from its original, secure case to a portable case, and the relocation of the doll was documented in depth, in the below video. The moving of the doll took place at the Warren's Occult Museum, where the real doll resides. In order for the men who moved the doll to protect themselves from the demonic doll, they used holy water, blessings and gloves. They explained that their skin is to never touch the doll. In addition, they revealed that every couple months, a priest comes to perform a blessing over the doll, just in case. A few decades ago, Two visitors came to the museum, a man and his girlfriend. Lorraine Warren told USA Today that the man disrespectfully was banging on the glass of the case that Annabelle is preserved in until the Warrens made the couple leave. Following this, the couple had a deadly accident. Warren recalled. She told us that they were both laughing and joking about the doll when the young man lost control of the bike and crashed head on into a tree. The man died in the accident. Currently, the Warren Occult Museum is looking for a new location due to zoning issues. For more information, click here for the official museum site.